is electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. This one is going to be a little bit different. No stats. In fact, I've changed jobs. Now I'm a panel slinger. Yep, today I'm going to be setting up these solar panels on the lawn so you can see the difference between the, all the different solar panels that I've got here at home. And it will help answer the question about is more power always better? The big black panel, that is a 400 watt EcoFlow panel. It's pretty much a standard size, but as you can see, it's taller than me and I'm five foot 10. So they are pretty big panels that go on the roof when they're 400 watts and above, etc. So what I'm doing now is bringing out all of the portable panels that I have. The All Powers, 200 watt panel, the Bluetti, 200 watt panel, Bluetti 350 watt panel and an All Powers 400 watt panel. And I'm going to compare them to this big 400 watt EcoFlow panel that would normally go on your roof. And now the fun bit, unfolding the panels, pulling out the legs at the back, erecting the panels, installing the panels, whatever you want to call it, uh, angling them towards the sun, ready to capture all of that wonderful power. So, um, yeah, basically I'm setting all the panels up as if they were going to be used so we can see the difference. On the left-hand side at the back, the slightly lighter panel, that's the All Powers 400 watt panel, the tallest panel. In front of it, the more black panel, that's the Blue Eti 350 watt panel. And the panels we're installing on the right-hand side now, two at the back, or is it three at the back now, are all All Powers 200 watt panels. And the slightly darker one now at the front, that's Blue Eti 200 watt panels. So the thing I've learned having all these different solar panels, the portable ones especially, is one, the ones that go on your roof, the big 400 watt panels, are huge and they're very, very heavy. The portable ones are much more manageable. So on the left hand side, we've got at the back an all powers, 400 watt. We've got Blue Eti, 350 watt in front of it. So 750 watts on the left hand side of those portable panels. On the right, we've got four 200 watt panels. So it's roughly the same power, 750 on the left, 800 watts on the right. What I've learned is that these 200 watt panels, because they're smaller, because they're lighter, because they're more manageable, I can carry them easier. So one in each hand, you're not straining yourself in any way. They're just easier. And when you pack them in the car, they're just easier to pack, pack in the boot, pack on the back seats. It's more flexible as to where you can put them. The All Powers 400 watt panel especially is really heavy and cumbersome. It is a big panel and it is very heavy. I'll put the weight on the screen now for the All Powers 400 watt, the Blue Eti 350 watt and the All Powers 200 and the Blue Eti 200. I'll put them all up on the screen now. But it's just that practicality that it makes you think, which should I go for if I want more power? Should I go for more in number of the 200 watt panels or should I just go for bigger power in less panels now the obvious thing is ground space as you can see from this video the roughly the same power but the ground space taking up by the 200 watt panels is more so if you've got the space if you can spread out and you want the practicality of how to carry them and how to pack them in your car 200 watt panels are absolutely fine and you're not going to lose any power. Concatenating them together into strings gives you the same amount of power as it would with the bigger panels. So most of it is the practicality of the panel. Now, I thought it was just better to have more power, but I think now it's actually better to have practical panels that you can move more easily. So to have more in number of the 200 watt panels, especially when the 200 watt panels are proportionally much cheaper than the 400 watt. These 400 watt panels and 350 watt panels are a premium price and cost a lot more for the wattage than the cheaper 200 watt ones are. So I, I think having a greater number of the lower powered panels is actually better but it is sort of cool isn't it having one panel that can give you more power so it is down to the practicality if you just want to unpack one panel and have a decent amount of pan power rather than connecting multiples together then yeah a 400 watt portable panel is a great thing to have if you don't mind how heavy it is and how awkward it is to pack away in your car 
One of the other practicalities to consider is the legs on the back and how long and wide and tall and heavy the panels are for installation. The Bluetti panels are actually easier to install. The legs just seem more practical. In fact, the All Powers 400 watt panel there with the five legs was actually not too bad. Um, because it's lighter and perhaps a little bit cheaper, the 200 watt panels are a little bit harder to put up and get those legs up. It's easier with two people, I must say, with one person as you put two legs up and try to get the other two, the left hand side collapses as you're doing the right hand side, that sort of thing. So it's a little bit awkward with these, they're almost like cardboard legs. But anyway, the Bluetti ones do seem to be the more premium for putting them together. And the bigger panels do seem to be more substantial. They're taller, they're heavier, they need more substantial legs. So it's definitely worth thinking about the differences between the big panels and the small panels. The last thing I can say about having more in number of 200 watt panels, you can angle them differently. So because you've got multiple panels, you can put one towards the west, one towards the east, and you'll catch more sun without having to go back to it and turn the panel. So that might be another consideration. There's one solar panel that didn't arrive in time for this video, and that's the Afri 400 watt solar panel. So along with the Afri portable battery that I've tested, there's a 400 watt solar panel they do. The intriguing thing with that is it is much, much lighter than the All Powers. So I'll be very interested to compare the two and see how they perform and feel. And just as I was packing away all of the solar panels, I realized I didn't compare the EcoFlow 100 watt rigid panel that I had. Now, again, actually packing those in a car, the 100 watt panel, they're actually more cumbersome and difficult to pack away in the car than a foldable 200 watt panel. And as you can see here, they are tiny. When the portable ones are unfolded, they're much, much bigger because there's much more power, obviously. But I've got to say, these rigid panels, even the 100 watt, they're a lot harder to get in the car, a lot harder to get into the Mini especially. And yes, I'm going to test how many of those portable solar panels can I get in my Mini. Cracker's going to help me. He's going to sit in the boot while I try and put the solar panels, the portable ones, on the back seats. The bigger All Powers 400 watt panel goes in first, no problem at all. The Bluetti, yep, yeah, no problem at all. All powers 200 and another 200 watt panel. Plenty, all in the back seats of a mini electric. Plenty of space for cracker in the boot too. So hopefully a useful little test if you're interested in how you can get portable solar panels in your car. Well, I can get four of them comfortably, maybe a couple more in our mini. So if I can get them in here, you should be able to get them in pretty much any car. There you go then. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, having a good laugh at me and Susan trying to put these panels together. I thought a useful video to demonstrate and talk about the practicality of portable panels and uh, which ones to go for. Is bigger and more power always better? As always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. A uh, good little bit of fun, but also some practical tests here, I think. Take care. See you again soon for more videos soon. Bye for now.